good job boys is Douglas and today I'm reacting to the catch a predator world's biggest loser my mom is going to take my computer away now look I'm gonna say I'm gonna say a few stuff you know what I'm saying I'm gonna say a few stuff in this video but man at the end of the day bro I'm not um I'm not judging none of these people you know what I'm saying um it is messed up what they did don't get me wrong but man I, like you know they just need help you know what I'm saying like you can't really you know what I'm saying? I'm going to say some stuff. You know what I'm saying? It is messed up what they did, of course. But, bro, I'm not I'm not here to speak down on nobody. But, man, before we get into the video, if you're new, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know down below what you want me to react to next. And you can hit me up on Instagram at tv.duck. Yeah, man, let's not waste some more time. Let's go ahead and get right into it. Hello. Hey, man, this used to be hey, the show. Hey, take a seat. I'll be right there. I'm Are watching this. Murray. Oh, Tom Morrison was, was one of those characters who, had it not been for the graphic nature of his online conversation with someone he thought was a young teenage girl, it would be comical. What's going on? I know, I just was talking to her and she said, come down and visit her. I have a compulsion just to, with her younger women, just meeting them. I haven't, I've met about a dozen of them online. Did you ever get in trouble for it? Well, I got in trouble because I met a girl in Michigan. And how old was that girl? 17. And what trouble did you get in there? Well, her grandfather tried to, wanted me to try to charge me with something they couldn't do anything. So they arrested me for trying to, to for possessing child pornography because I had nude pictures of her on my computer. They ended up dropping the charge. I'm... Um, bro. See... I don't want to say nothing, but bro, the seventy-year-old, she she need to, she need to. My boy, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, that's so nasty. But seventeen-year-old, that yeah, that is a, that is a look. Look, a seventeen-year-old that is a little kid, but she know what she doing. I'm not saying that they should have did anything. That's not what I'm saying. But my boy, the parent of the seventeen-year-old, yeah, they need to get her like. He shouldn't be the only one getting in trouble. Like, that little girl, she need to get her phone taken away. You send the pictures to a grown man, and you 17 years old, yeah. Take her phone away. I see. My kid and how did you get the naked 20. pictures of the teenage girl? I met her in Michigan. Nah, 18. And 18, I took 18. Them. 18. You took the pictures of the girl. Mm -hmm. Morrison just laid it all out there. Not only does he admit what he's doing to that night, he tells me he's got a history of doing this sort of thing. How old was the youngest girl you ever met? 17. 17. Most of them are like 21, 22. And tonight, though, you were willing to come meet a 15-year-old. Yeah, yeah, I don't know why. You don't know why. That with well, my I boy. know why. Well, you treat this like he, you know, you forgot to pay for uh, some candy at the uh, no. grocery store. I came to meet her because she told me that she was bored. And I said, well, do you want me to come down and meet you? And I said, she said, sure, come on down. So I said, OK. That was it. I know it's wrong. I shouldn't have done it. I knew I shouldn't have done it. Why'd you do it then? I don't know. Just, just, because when people sweet talk me, I fall. I fall. In Donald Morrison's mind, he truly thinks that if, uh, uh, you know, a young teenage girl says it's okay to have sex, it's okay. You say, if you are ready no. for sex, I'll give it. I don't care what it, bro. Look, kids should not have phones. Bit to you, but I have erectile That's dysfunction. Simple. TikTok Won't get is real a dangerous app too. This girl sure is like TikTok. You were preparing for kids, a sex act. Kids should not have I phones. I was preparing for because she said that, you know, she. I said if you read, saw what I said. I said if you want it, I will give it to you. But I'm not going to force anything that you don't want. I'm not going to force myself on you. That doesn't make it legal, though. I yeah. know it doesn't make it legal. I want you to be honest with me. If I wasn't here tonight and a young girl was, who was alone and willing to have sex, what do you think would have happened? I could say honestly, yes, it probably would have if she would have, if she would have, you know, said, hey, let's go for it. And you don't see anything wrong with that? Yes, I do see things thing wrong with it, but I have lack of judgment. Here's this guy who's, you know, middle-aged, who's hey, people uh, like that, not especially well-dressed, and doesn't appear to have a lot of money in his pocket, is living with his parents. You're going to tell oh, your no. folks about they this? I'm trying to tell my folks about it. You are? Yes, sir. How do you think they're going to react? Oh, I know. My mom's going to take my computer and completely throw it away. You're 48 years old, Donald. 
Why should you rely on your mommy? Yeah, to bro, he, do bro, he still got that mic. Yeah, but he, come, yo, yeah, dang, bro, that's, but oh, um, yeah, he need dang discipline. Nah, he need help here. for real. Because of, like I said, lack of judgment. You know, being being lonely, having no girlfriend. You know, phys you know, physical contact with anybody. Just you know, lack of just, just lost it. Ultimately, Donald Morrison says, okay, I get what's going on here. I'm probably on to catch a predator right now. He recognizes me finally. When you said you thought the Dateline stories were pretty bad, did you think the stories were bad because of what Dateline did, or did you think what the guys caught on Dateline uh, did were bad? Some so, of the things that Dateline did. So yeah. wait, let me get let's just get this straight. So when you say you thought that the Dateline stories were pretty bad, are you talking about the stories or the guys who were caught in the stories? The guys who got caught in the stories, and I know this is probably going to be on Dateline too, so go ahead and put it on. <laughs> well, you know hey, who I am. Yeah, I know who you are. Once I rec recognized, recognized it, you know, I heard recognize the voice. I don't really watch Dateline. I mean, I'm usually working two to two to eleven. You know, I'm Chris Hansen with Dateline right. NBC. I understand. I know who I Boy, recognize the, from the voice. That's the worst line a pedophile can hear. I'm Chris Hansen from the brother. This is the worst. You don't want to hear this if you were a pedophile. Watch a Dateline. I mean, Boy, I'm usually working two to two to eleven. You know, I'm Chris Hansen with Dateline right. NBC. I understand. Yeah. I know who I recognize from the voice. And everything you've just said and done has all been recorded. Okay. And if you have anything else you'd like to tell us, we'd like to hear it. Just saying that, you know, I shouldn't have done it. I mean, I'm, this is something I normally don't, don't go out and do. Donald, you're free to walk out that door, that same door you walked in. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you for bringing, you know, kicking me in the pants and setting me straight, Chris. Let's say it's a bit of first and it'll be the last time. You want to, you, I'll give you permission to even monitor me if you want to. I appreciate that. No, but he needs I'm help. willing, you know, Not saying if I can he find a counselor, right, I'll go to counseling. Maybe he should have, have help. Yeah. Uh, but I think, looking back on it now, there's also a little bit of showmanship going on on Donald Morrison's part. He's thinking that if he admits he's got a problem and, and, and thanks me for giving him a kick in the pants as I believe he put it uh, and that he'll get help he thinks maybe he can dodge being in some sort of trouble with law enforcement well, you gotta go to jail. of course that's not going to work out hey, you very get, well for him yeah, you gotta go to jail. am I going to be arrested when I go out there that's not up to me yeah okay. for sure you, yeah. Oh, you're free to go jail. Well, you out of them you can get help in jail the way this is set up there was, there was some you know, tendency <laughs> for some of these guys to try to go out the front door as opposed to the back door. Where's the door at? Straight back. Straight back. Right through uh, that door right there. He steps off that back step, which is kind of a big step, and boom, Fort Myers police him right on. On the ground! What physical threat did Donald Morrison pose? Probably not a great threat. I knew this was going to happen when, they, when Dateline was in there. But I you never know what somebody's got on the way, and you allowed. never know I how somebody might react once they walk out of a house oh. after being on television. I'm diabetic. Do you have any needles in your pockets? No, sir. Go through your knees to your chest. Roll up. Get my glasses. Got them. I got them. The arrest was made. Uh, Morrison goes into you know, a diabetic shock of sorts. Uh, and they didn't want to take any chances, obviously, so they actually took him to the hospital. You know, he was actually handcuffed, as I recall, to the, uh, to the stretchers he went in. He was treated and ultimately released and was uh, processed and charged. Donald Morrison, you're charged with the sex offense against a child fondling a victim 12 years of age or up to 15 years and obscene communications with a computer to seduce or solicit a child. Your Honor, may I ask a question? No, sir. Okay. I never seen a person that's not guilty on computer for not. You were saying it's not much in jail. Oh, come on, y'all going a little too fast. Not much in jail with three years of sex offender probation. Nine months in jail?
nine months in jail and three years of probation for I don't know. I don't I don't I don't know, but man This one, I don't know, bro. I don't know. I used to hate, bro. I used to like watching this stuff when I was a kid because I these people needed to go to jail. But now growing up, man, I really see that, bro, pe these people, they just need help. They really just need somebody to talk to. And they don't, they don't do it. So in order to, like, and they just think, oh, man, I'm not getting girls my age. I might as well just talk to these little kids. Like, that's not all right. But whatever, man. Hey, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know down below what you want me to react to next so I make sure I get to it. Hey, yo, man, I'm out.